Okay guys, today I'm going to be making a coconut milk. Starting off with some coconut shreds from Whole Foods. We're going to throw them. Oh, not as that much. They're about to go bad, so right before they go bad, taking advantage of trying to make some. Disclaimer, this is the first time I'm making this. Normally I would suggest boiling water, but since we're doing it in a smoothie, a blender, any water is fine. Let's open this thing back filled it up to the one i don't know if you can see at all we're gonna see if that's good enough and just well it's probably not so because it's kind of clumpy i'm gonna add one more cup or at least a second line and see how it comes out all right it's already looking a little bit better i didn't fill it up too much because i kind of see like it'll blend pretty fine All right, so I'm gonna check inside. It looks nice and foamy for a milk, so it's more like foam than milk, but we'll test it out. I don't know why I just closed that. So here's our cup. Yes, it used to be the candle that was there. To, to save some money on glassware. Oh, nope, I'm about to mix that more. You see how clumpy that is? Now I can add the more water that I was thinking. After mixing a few, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a lot better, but also still the same. So. I kind of rinsed out that cup a little bit. Probably not enough. It looks like snow. I've never been to snow. It still looks like snow to me. So this is what I imagine it. Um, I tried it, tasted it. Gonna add some stuff to see if it tastes better before I put it in here and ruin that whole thing. I'm gonna be trying a pinch of salt, a little bit of vanilla extract because I like the vanilla flavors and like almond milk, rice milk and all of those. So I thought I might as well just add some. I know it's a little bit, so the measurements are probably not gonna be right. So I always do things by eye, by hand. Pour just a little bit more. It looks a lot more milkier because I blended it right before, but who would wanna have to put their milk in the blender every time just for it to, to be able to drink it? But if that's you, girl, enjoy. All right, so I'm just gonna try and put a little bit. Can't even see it. So hopefully something came out and then I'm gonna do the vanilla next. Hopefully you can see I've got half a cap full of vanilla extract. I'm gonna try and blend it with a little spoon or something and see how that's gonna start looking because I love that white, pure white color. It makes you not feel like you're drinking something poisoned. I need it's gonna turn like more almondy. I might have put too much, but we'll try it. And if it's still not sweet enough, then I add a secret ingredient. That tastes all right. I think it would be perfect in there. Now I would have to figure out measurements and see if I can blend this even more. Probably add more water so it's less thick and less um, chunky. Another idea I had was just to pour this straight in because it actually tastes really good and it's also more liquidy than the rest. That looks like it didn't make a difference, but we'll see. Still looking pretty much the same. See how it's just foamy at the top? Now the only thing that scares me is the clumps around here. See, I think it's all over the spoon too. And it's probably because I used too much coconut too. I just poured, I let that whole thing fall in there. Wanted to make this more vegan friendly, but if anything, I'll just add some Cool Whip and blend it in for more milkier texture. I can add the cup from the stuff I poured before. It looks like rice. Did I just make coconut rice? Why it tastes perfect how it is, I would even eat it. So this is probably better for like smoothie or eating rather than drinking straight up, which normally I don't do anyways anymore. I'm ready to have some of this, so sorry. Time to go. Before I go, let me just show you. 